shows the Mordasra, the very Lippi Shlita, shows the Mashriya Shlita, the Fintumim, Achav Reya. I've heard a lot about Ravaran's business associates at Rama. To be Zoyche, the Refinkelman, and Mordas Ranaya sitting at their table. It's a great Ravaran speaks very highly of his colleague, Zirei Mushleiman. Achav Reya, I'm speaking to Ravaran's Rebbe. Those that uh, are here can listen as well. The Blue Jive Rebbe Zatzal said over a Maisa, he was in the concentration camp, and there was a young lady running around half in sugar, <laughs> screaming for a messer. She wanted a knife, a knife. And the Rebbe came over to her and told her. You can't take your life. Every second of life is Rebbe Kvot Shemayim. You can't take it a moment before the Nazis, Yimach Shemom, will take it from you. She ignored the Rebbe, and she found a Nazi officer who gladly gave her his bayonet, convinced that she's gonna kill herself. And what she did was, she took a bundle that she'd been holding, a bundle of white sheets, and she unwrapped them sheet after sheet, until finally there was a baby, and she raises up the baby, and she takes out the knife, and she makes a broche, alamilo, shechianu, and she's mal the baby. She picks up the baby and she says, Obeda Shalom, you gave me a baby, I return to you a Jewish Gemal to child. Now legend has it in Stanford that Rabbi Hirschmeyer Zatzal was a Mashkiach and a Nile in Stanford was that baby. That's what I've heard. But what's the Yusayid? The Yusayid is the mother was telling Hashem, O si si kishlichusecha. Whether this baby lives or not, I did my job. I'm returning to you a Gemalata kind. So to the Rebbe Tzinchendi and to Ravarin, we say, Osisen Kishlichuschem. You did the Rotson of HaKadosh Bohu. As the Rav Shlita said, L'toyro, L'chupa, L'masim toivim, Dozoisyeis, and Olonga, Pruchais, V'avir. He did a magnificent job of guarding this Tyre Neshome, bringing Chaim Yisrael Yitzchok, all of our Sholem, Miken Zogin Zechetzayat of Roche, into your lives, into the lives of your parents, into the lives of your children, and celebrating his very existence. And the fact that the Rebbein Neshome decided that 33 was it, you realize that you fulfilled your mission statement. So when you know people that react a certain way to challenges in life and create really kvayt shamayi medav upshtein fazal chiyin. The Torah Doisha tells us vayochel noyach, he profaned the world. He grew grapes. And he became intoxicated over the wine Says the Medrash in Bereish Yisrabo, Noach should have planted other crops. So Tadgoyen, Rab Simcha Vasem and Zatzal, son of Merenu Rab Elchon and Zechitzal and the Kodesh of Ruch Hashem Kem Domoy, although it came to the United States, I believe in '38, knew of the horrors of Korban Europa. His father was killed. Al Kiddush Hashem. So his mishpacha wiped out. Why would Noyach plant grapes to drink wine? Noyach had a strong cheshbon. He wanted to get on with his life. He had to drown his sorrows. He had to dull the pain 
So he drank wine to comfort himself. So what's the taina? So to Simcha, the taina is, he saw not just his world, but the entire world destroyed. Now is not the time to drown your sorrows. Now is not the time to drink wine. Now is the time to rebuild the world, to introduce future dailas, to ensure the continuum of mankind. Now is the time to plant wheat, to nourish others. That's what his job was, to take the achrayas, to be able to continue his legacy. The reason why he was selected to be the continuum of civilization. There are families and there are families. In Lita, there was abject poverty. The reason why my Marino of Yankif moved was for two reasons. The one, he was extremely destitute. There was only one pair of boots in the Kamenetsky home. They couldn't both go to a Kiddush on Shabbos. They had to walk through the muddy streets of Sitipyan wearing boots, so they exchanged boots. And he was worried about the Askol. Be'akiv said that there were over 200 Rabbonim greater in Torah than him in Litton. So Litton was a place of great scholarship, but not too much money. When Svarim would come out, Mechaba the Savior would put all his lundis in Akdom. So you looked at the introduction to the Sefer, who were mesmerized by the razzle-dazzle of that dom, and you bought the Sefer. Shara Yosha, one of the greatest Lomdish Svarim, and Zik and Yavonis, written by Shimon, is no Lomdish. It's all about Kedushim. Kedushim til ki Kodesh ani Hashem aleikech. What does Kedushim mean? He writes, the Rebbeinu Shaloylam is a mitiv, is a benefactor. And the Kedusha of the Rebbeinu Shalom is manifest in the fact that he's always doing. Shimon in his abdomen to tachlis of the yid is to attain Kedusha, to be omel, and to do whatever he possibly can for others, to be made. And that's really the Pshat Atu Kodesh, Vishim Chakodesh, Kodesh, and Machol Yoim Yaluchasal. The Kedusha of the Rabbinic Shlodim is not some esoteric concept that we can't relate to. Being a Kodesh doesn't mean living in an ivory tower, wrapping yourself with 50 Gautlach, and saying Tilim 25 times a day the entire time. It's about being mated. As Chaim Volozhin has said, Tachbulois, Lahetev, Mazulois, machinations to help others. Ata Kodesh, Vishim Chakodesh. Who are the ones that are Makadesh, Aluch, Asela, the Kodesh, and the two fathers? When one suffers a tragic loss of a child, Tom Tom Chet, as the Rav Shlita said. One can drown the misery. Gash mystic in your vacations, intoxicating beverages. You can rise to the occasion and you can rebuild. Hill says, Seems to be a steer. If I'm not for myself, who'll be for me? But if I am for myself, what am I? Well, what's the deal? Take care of numero uno or not? Does the pshat? It may not mealy mealy. No one's going to take care of myself. I have to take care of myself. Uchshanila adds me. If that knee is only about me, money, I don't exist. Husband and wife get married. The husband enjoyed a certain kind of necktie, faragamo shoes. I know you don't know what I'm talking about. This is not chazazim. People spend eight hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. But a fella gets married, has a kailo, gets a bonus, to a chinah, a shas, a 
my wife and I are shaken. I thought you took care of yourself. I am. She's me. She gets a bonus and she buys him a masif de shas. Yashiv said, it's the grass of Rosh Hashim. He told me, show him a charoidim and pollution. Cost $28,000. Didn't you like to buy yourself a piece of jewelry? I am buying jewelry. He's my jewelry. I'm being makash my husband with jewelry with a shas. So the ani now extends to my wife, to my husband. He's looking at the children, it extends to your children. And the eight o'clock, matching up. Talk to me about it. Matching outfits, very ethical. They all have to look like they came from the same tree. And then it goes weiter. You start being mated with the members of your kehila, of your extended family, of your friends, of Cloud Yisrael, of Bria. That's Kedusha. Those that survived Churban Europa or Churban America, had two choices. They could cover themselves, they could buy intoxicating beverages, they could wallow in the misery, or they could build. And we're here today because our parents and grandparents, no matter which side of the pond they were on during the war, decided it's not about my own personal comfort. It's about rebuilding clouds. Moistus, Hatayra, Yeshivas, Beisian gifts. Kehilis, Chadori, Chotzer of Rebbe. So much was built all over the world from people who realize, take a lesson from Noyach, and don't profane yourself by wallowing in your misery, drinking yourself into a stupor and comforting yourself. And I hold that the real comfort comes when you comfort others. This is artificial stimulant drink. Sham Shur says, why is Shtuya Yayin, those that drink wine, Chayv Misa, in the Azor of the Beis the Kayhanim? Because they should be intoxicated and inebriated from the Avedah Sashem. And the drink is only an artificial stimulant. The person really is native in Azulas. He helps others. He thinks of ways that nobody knows about. Like when the Taira Chosel and Kalos will say for Torah today. I know be your dear. The Rob knows be your dear. The Mashgiach knows be your dear. There's such wonderful people without a noise. Hats the Leches. Tremendous Chesed. Tremendous Avas Hashem. Avas Torah. Avas Yisrael. But I hate the Mazulas. It's the mission statement in life. It's exactly what they've done. In a year's time, they've rebuilt Torah, a Sefer Torah. they have said it so beautifully. Every time that Sefer Torah will come out and be returned and be laid from, Chaim, Yisrael Yitzchak comes back to life in those Isis, in the Aliyas, in the dancing on Simcha's Torah. Hashem so healthy, as my beloved friend Didi makes his way back in because he knows I'm wrapping it up. The Rebbe Hashem so healthy, you know I love you. We should continue to share simchas with the Mishpah. Simchas that we realize are simchas. Simchas that we feel, geshem, ruach. The Baron has a more than the Mishpah. Shtar to the name Torah. Big Talmud Echachom. And they've been that way for many, many, many years. I remember years ago, before the table, when the Baron Davin at the Aguda, then he decided to put on a nice greasy garto. And what should get it? He was gartling the same Torah. The brothers of Big Big Torah, Mishpoch is full of Tamirich Chachamim. This is what Aaron was dancing. Acha Shalalti Meis Hashem Shiv Dimeis Hashem Koli Mechai, as the Rosh Shlita said. It was Ginzim Roimim the way he was dancing, but especially Shiv Dimeis Hashem Koli Mechai. The Nachas Ruach he has from Bonim of Nei Bonim Oiskim the Torah of Shmo. Bonim Shmo should be mated, and he and Rabbi Sinchei we should continue seeing Nachas from the entire Mishpocha. The pain should be transformed into Simcha. And the mate of Mazulas is the greatest comfort to bring another Sefer Torah in this Hail of the Beis Medrash. She was to 
Zodan the entire mishpacha. Aaron's wonderful parents continue to be healthy and well, and continue to celebrate simchas of the children. In the klachur, in the klach, the entire mishpacha should rejoice. Should be zeched to the greatest simcha of the Vias Hakol Merdeh. Amen.